Okay, so now we are in Chapter 4. We are moving on to Module 4. Um, so we're going to talk about if-else statements, switch statements, and um, finally we'll write a program where we put all of these things together and everything that we have learned so far. So the first thing we're going to start off with is in this chapter is the if-else statement. So I have created a new project. I already have a file that I'm going to use. Um, and again, you can find all of these files in the sample code files section. So, and I've tried to call the files the same as our videos, so you should be able to find it. So this is an if-else file. And it is just a very simple program that shows us how to use the if-else statements. So we have included, if you notice, our IO stream, IO manip, and our string header files. We don't need anything more than that. The goal of this program is to read a score from the user and essentially calculate the user's percentage score based on a maximum score. So we are going to read two variables from the user, maximum score and your, your score, which is a user's score. Now, I will show you something ahead here. The way we calculate the percentage, notice in this line, next line, is you take your score divided by the maximum score. So it does not have to be, um, the maximum score does not have to be 100 all the time. Um, you take your score divided by the maximum score and you multiply by the 100 to get your percentage. So since we are dividing, it's very important to make sure that this maximum score variable is not zero because we cannot divide by zero. That would be an indefinite value. And so you want to make sure that if the maximum score is zero, then you want to output an error message. You don't simply want to read a zero and try to divide by a zero. That would be wrong. So with that in mind, let's see what we have here. We have some variables to read the maximum score and to read the user score. And then we have to, the percentage that we're going to calculate. And notice we already have our manipulators all put in, so we can output it to two decimal points. <clears throat> and there's a little bit of a welcome message that says, welcome to my great calculator. And it says, what is the maximum possible score that you can have? So then you read that into maximum score. And here's where you check. Notice this if says if maximum score, and notice that equals is a double equal to sign that checks for equality. So that's your equality operator, which is very different from your assignment operator, which is on this line that we use to calculate the percentage. So it's it's going to be a, a, an error if you put in a single equal to sign, because then what it does is it takes the zero, assigns it to this variable, and it's always going to be true. So that's not what you would want. So if maximum score is equal to zero, then we want to output an error message because we cannot have the denominator be zero. Say maximum cannot be zero, enter Q to quit, and we're going to simply read that reply from them, and we're going to quit the program. We are not going to continue with the program. So this exit statement will completely exit from the program. That's what that does. So there's a simple if statement. Notice how my condition is inside of the parenthesis, which is required. And the if is the reserved word itself that checks to see if a condition is true or false. So if this condition is true, then notice we have curly brackets for multiple statements, which we need. It's very important that you have your curly brackets to say that this whole block of code is inside the if. These are some common mistakes that I see students make, is if you don't have the curly bracket, and even if this code is all indented, meaning if it's all indented the way it should be, that does not mean all these lines are in there. This means only the first line, which is that C out statement, is the only one that is inside that if condition. All the others will happen even if this condition happens to be false. So you want to be extra careful and you always want to make sure that you're going to put that curly brackets to say this whole body of code is inside of that if statement. So if this condition happens to be true, we want to do all of these four lines and we want to exit from the program completely. Now, if that's not the case, <clears throat> then the program is going to come here. And it's going to say, what is your score? Read the score calculate the percentage because now we know that the maximum score is not zero. If it were zero, we would have exited here. We are not there. 
So then you output your percentage and say there's a percentage sign at the end. Then we are going to do a few more checks and say if the percentage is greater than or equal to 90, then we see out you get an A. Now we have an else if. Notice in my previous if. There was no else if. It was a simple if statement. If this condition is true, do this. Otherwise, we do this anyway. So if this condition is not true, then it is going to come out here and do the rest of this. Now in this case, we have a few more alternatives. So we have an else if. So if percentage greater than or equal to 90, they get an A. If percentage greater than or equal to 80, then they get a B. And so in order to do that, you have an else if statement that checks to see if it is greater than A or, or greater than 90 or greater than 80 or if it's between 80 and 70, which is what this would be, because if it is not greater than or equal to 80, then it's going to come here and check and see if it's greater than or equal to 70. And then finally, if it's anything less than 70, then we tell them you failed. And so notice the last else does not have an else if. So else if you need to check something, then you have an if. If you don't need to check something, then you simply have an else. Now you cannot have something like this. You cannot have else condition something. Let's say I'm going to try and say percentage equals 100 or something like that. Now that's obviously not right because it says I have no idea. It's just expected a semicolon. What it's trying to say is why would you have a condition without an if? So this is quite not right. You don't want to do that. Else this condition here. So if percentage greater than or equal to 90, then we want to do that. Else if percentage greater than or equal to 80, then we do that. Else here I want to actually do this. How about that? That's better. Else if percentage greater than or equal to 70, we do that. Else the final uh, statement that says you failed. If all of these fail, then this condition says you have failed. So this is just a quick demonstration of if else statements are a standalone if statement. Now one thing you cannot have is a standalone else statement without an if. So this else goes for this if essentially and this else goes with this if and this else goes with this if. So you have to have a matching if for every else but you don't have to have an else for every if. So I hope that makes sense.